Hello, my first and second grade scholars. It's great to be back with you again. Let's get started today with another fun music lesson, and we'll start by singing Hello, Everybody. Warm up our singing voices. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. you were singing along. Well, as you know, we're going to start off with a short devotion and then a very short scripture verse and prayer and then a song to go along with our devotion. And today, our scripture lesson, our devotion is called Whisper a Prayer. I once had an old guitar that I could not get in tune. The more I turned those tuning keys, the worse it sounded. In despair, I took my clanging guitar to a master musician. He listened to each string very carefully. Then he began to tune each one until that clanging guitar sounded like a new one. It just needed a master's touch to produce the right sound. Sometimes our hearts can get out of tune. We can get discouraged or even angry about something. We may try to fix it ourselves. But when nothing changes the clang in our heart, that's the time to go to the master in prayer. Prayer changes things. It's like getting a spiritual tune-up. I know that sometimes my guitar gets out of tune and I know how to tune it up so I've I've tried it myself, or sometimes a student will come to me and say, oh, can you please tune my guitar, and I, I will do that. But you know, when my heart needs a tune-up, I have to go to Jesus, and the way to go to Jesus is through prayer. So we have a very short scripture verse right now from Thessalonians, and it says, pray without ceasing. And when we cease something, we stop. Prayer Pray without ceasing. Can you say that? Pray without ceasing. And our prayer for today, Lord, I want my heart to be in tune with yours. I want you to say that with me. I'll break it apart. So listen first. Lord, I want my heart. Lord, I want my heart to be in tune with yours. To be in tune with yours. Amen. And of course, I've got a wonderful song to go along with it called Whisper a Prayer. But for this song, we will have to learn a few more words in sign language. As you know, we've been learning some words and it's great to put that to a song, especially when we might not know all of the words. The signs can help us to remember the words. So today we're going to learn the signs for morning, noon, and night or evening. They say evening in the song. So, the first thing we have to do is put one, our arm out like this straight. And for morning, it's like the sun is coming up. It's coming up and we can finally see it. So, just like this, the sun is coming up. That's morning. We can still keep our, our, our arm like this. And for noon, all we have to do is put our other hand on top of our the top of our hand just like this because it's pointing up that's noontime the sun is over our head so try that noontime and then finally when it's when it's evening the sun goes down the sun goes down where we can't see it anymore so the sun goes down that's evening so we've got put your arm out like this morning the sun comes up Noon time or noon, hands straight up because that's where the sun is. And then evening, the sun goes down. Pretty easy. So we're, we're not going to be singing during the song. We're going to be doing we're going to be doing the signs. I will play the song twice though. And then if you go, oh, I think I can sing along with it, by all means do. But listen first to see to hear how it sounds. 
and to watch me doing the signs and try to do the signs along with me. And by the way, in the very beginning of the song, you're going to hear some chimes. Listen to those twinkling, tinkling chimes, okay? Here we go. If you put your arm like this, you're going to be ready. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon. Whisper a prayer in the evening to keep you know this your song. heart in tune. Get that hand back up again. So you're ready. Be holy and pray in the Love those chimes. Remember, you can get ready by going like this. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon. Whisper a prayer in the evening to keep your heart. practice them. It really is such a beautiful way to add to our singing. Well, thinking about singing, did you know that music is stored somewhere in our body? Hmm, I wonder where that could be. Hmm, think, think, think. Where could music be stored in our body? <gasps> yes, in our brain. I'm going to be showing you some pictures right now. All right, so let me get, get my book ready here. And you can see that when, when we're hearing music, whether it's in our Chromebook, our TV, our computer, our laptop, whatever it happens to be, that music has to go through our ears. You might be wearing headphones, you might be wearing earbuds, you just might be listening to it. And then when it goes through our ears, Oh, and it comes to our brain, and our brain processes that music. It tells us, what should we be doing? Maybe a teacher is going to give you a direction for one of these things that's here right now. So right now, I want you to take a look at the picture of the girl. This is box number one, and this girl is, what is she doing? She's singing. That's right. How does she know she's supposed to be singing? Because her brain is telling her that. Right now, 
I'm going to sing a song that I'm sure most of you know, and my brain is going to tell me to sing it. And if you want, you can sing along with me right now. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I've already learned those words. I've learned the melody. I was able to put that together in a song. And that's what this girl is doing. Well, let's take a look at picture number two. This boy is doing what? Uh-huh. He is whistling. Can you whistle? I want you to try it right now while I'm while I'm doing a little whistling. brain told me how to whistle. I, ever since I was little, I watched other people whistling and going, oh, I have to form my lips a certain way. I have to blow air out a certain way. And my brain is telling me that's how I can produce that form of music. Well, guess what? Music is not just melody, like you heard me singing, Jesus loves me. You heard me whistling, Jesus loves me. But music is also rhythm, the beat. Can you clap your hands right now? Go ahead, just clap them. I'm holding the book, so it's kind of hard for me to clap. But clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. That's right, your brain is telling you to clap your hands. And when you're listening to a piece of music, you are able to also maybe keep the beat. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna put on right now a little piece of music. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. But I want you to listen to the piece of music and I want you to clap your hands so that you too can keep the beat. Clap them lightly. Notice I'm keeping the beat. I'm not just doing whatever I want. I have to listen to that music. That's what my brain is telling me to do. pause it there because I'm going to go to the next picture down here in box number four you will see some feet what do you think those feet are doing maybe during music that's right they're tapping can you tap your feet right now I'm going to play that same piece of music again and I want you to keep the beat right now that means you have to listen, your brain has to work. Tapping your foot, not stamping, tapping. to stop it right there because now I want you to take a look at picture number five. Can you guess what's happening in picture number five? Just think, think from before I give you the answer, what is this boy doing and what instrument does he happen to be playing? Thinking about it, if you don't know what it is, it starts with the letter H harmonica and I just so happen to have a harmonica with me and 
again, you're thinking, I might not be able to hear, but I can imagine what you're thinking. Ms. Rec, in order to play that harmonica, your brain is telling you to blow into the harmonica, and that's how you can make some sounds. Well, there I've got one sound, but then I bet you're telling Miss Rec, in order to change the sound, you're gonna to have to blow in different places in the holes, and then you're going to get different sounds. You're right. And there you go. Harmonica is a great instrument to learn how to play because it fits in a pocket. Really easy one to bring along. Again, my brain was telling me what I had to do in order to play that music. That's all stored in my brain. And we use these different things that I was showing you on my page to express ourselves. We can sing, we can whistle, we can clap, we can, we can tap, there's so many more, but, and we can play a musical instrument, of course, but take a look at this last picture. Hmm, why would I have this picture here? Why would I have this picture here? I have it here because music has to come from the heart. Just think about the song that I sang in the beginning, I'm talking about the girls singing. I sang, Jesus Loves Me. Now, I could sing it, like this. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Was that music coming from my heart? I don't think so. I wasn't using my best singing voice. I was playing around with other things, looking around, not having that music come from my heart. When we sing, especially when we sing songs about Jesus. If we sing, sing along with me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. That time, I was singing from my heart. I meant every word that I sang. I even put some sign language at the end. Yes, Jesus loves me. So I was using everything, especially when we're singing songs of praise. So remember that when you're singing, use your heart, use your brain, but also use your heart. And then anything extra, whether you're clapping or tapping or stamping or snapping, whatever it happens to be, yeah, that's your brain at work. Good work today. All right. Now I'm going to show you another picture because I want to let you listen to a fun song and you're gonna get, it's a short song and it's called Little Red Caboose, all right? So we're gonna listen to it and please pretend that this is red. In fact, after the song is over and you get a chance to kind of track these words right here, when the song is over, if you've got a piece of paper and some crayons or a pencil or something, I'll be playing some of our other songs and you'll get to draw a picture of a train. And if you want to draw a picture of a caboose too, you can do that. But first, let's track the words. Here we go. Listen to the train whistle too. Oh, you feel 
what to sing. What I'd like you to do right now is get out some paper. It can be just some blank paper. It can be an inside of a notebook, whatever you happen to have. Your crayons or colored pencils or markers. And while I'm playing just three of our songs that uh, we've already sung uh, so far, This Is The Day, The Hummingbird Song, and Little Red Caboose, I'll let you draw a train, all right? We'll be listening to the music. Remember, it's going to be in your brain. I'm giving you that chance to get out just a piece of paper that you can draw on. It can be a piece of scrap paper, getting out those markers, those crayons, colored pencils. Even if you just have a pencil, that's good enough to draw with. I'm going to be playing these songs. Draw a picture of a train. Your brain's going to tell you to do that, okay? While you're listening to some music. All right, so the first song you're going to hear is one that you've heard already called This Is The Day. <laughs> While that song was playing, I was using one of my voices. I was doing some humming. My brain told me to hum along as they were singing on the recording. Keep drawing a picture of that train because now we're going to hear the hummingbird song. And remember with hummingbirds, it's the sound of their wings that sounds like humming. Some of you were humming along with that hummingbird song. All right, one more, one more song that you get to continue to draw your train. Of course, it's our song, The Little Red Caboose. Now what I'm going to do, if some people might be finished drawing, I'm just going to hold the song up one more time 
that I'm, maybe I'll play this song two times because it's a short song. Okay, so I will play the song and continue drawing your train or you can look at the words and sing along. Here we go. fun drawing a train while you were listening to those songs. Your brain was hard at work today. Remember, music is stored in our brain and we use lots of different voices to express that music. So my friends, please put down those crayons or pencils or whatever you have. And because it is time to sing Goodbye, everybody, and I have a great imagination, so I'm going to imagine that you are singing and waving goodbye to me. Goodbye, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my scholars. Goodbye, everybody. God bless you today and the rest of the week until we have another wonderful music lesson.